NASA is getting ready to launch its next planet hunter. The discoveries of this little spacecraft could change our understanding of faraway worlds. The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS for short, will search for planets outside our solar system. Scientists with MIT and NASA are working on the mission. It is going to survey nearly the entire sky, looking at it, hundreds of thousands of stars up to millions of stars looking for new planets. TESS will divide the sky into sections, looking at each slice for 27 days before switching to the next area. It will focus on exoplanets that orbit a star similar to how the Earth orbits the Sun. When it is done, we will have surveyed 85% of the sky for signs of exoplanets. Tests will look for dips in the brightness of stars, indicating planets passing in front of them. Astronomers are most interested in other planets that are similar to Earth in size and environment. A place that is not too hot and not too cold so that water can exist on the surface. We can do follow-up measurements, such as getting the mass of the planet and looking at the atmosphere and searching for things like water vapor and even maybe signs of life on the planet. Liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler. TESS will be building on the mission of the Kepler Space Telescope, which launched in 2009 but will soon run out of fuel. Kepler discovered about 2,600 confirmed exoplanets, but far away. TESS will spend about two years searching for new worlds closer to our solar system. We want the brightest, nearest stars to find planets around them, and so they're bright enough that we can follow them up in more detail. Future missions like the James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch in 2020, will use test data to look closer at the planets discovered. And scientists hope to one day send robots to those planets for further exploration. Kathy Young, Associated Press.